tales for dark nights. Last night I was walking along the beach and was just about to head back home when my foot struck something. I looked down to find a journal, a tattered, waterlogged, and strangely burnt journal. The following is a transcription of the text I found written inside of it. August 4th. There weren't a lot of people at my school today. Everyone's been getting sick lately and I don't know why. My mom says it's just a bad year for the flu, but I feel like she's lying. Anyway, I got this journal for my 12th birthday today, so I'll try to keep it up to date as often as possible. August 5th. I've been seeing soldiers driving around town all day. I hope everyone's okay. More kids stayed home today because they were sick. Teachers were wearing surgical masks so they wouldn't get sick, and my mom is at the score buying us some. She says I have to wear it all day, except when we're at home. She also says we have to keep the doors and windows closed, and that we can only open them to leave. She keeps telling me she doesn't know why we have to do this, but it's obvious the sickness is getting bad. I'm not stupid. August 10th. I couldn't write these past few days because my family and all the other healthy people were moved to a military shelter. All our stuff was taken, but we got it back later. August 11th. I overheard the generals talking in the other room. They were saying that something in the shelter had the infection. They said they would let everyone do what they wanted, leave or stay. They were also talking about getting ready for the decontamination. I don't know what that means, but they sounded happy, and that makes me feel better. I can't wait to get home. August 13th. Me and my parents are leaving Penny Rock. They say it isn't safe here anymore, so we're going to the other side of the island to live with our grandparents. August 14th. Our car just got stopped at the edge of town. There are fences that weren't there before. The police are saying the city's under quarantine. It means no one can leave. We have to drive back now. August 16th. Something weird happened today. I haven't really been going to school lately, which is okay, I didn't like school anyway. But I've also been really bored. I was walking around the house trying to find something to do, and that's when I saw the man. He was outside on the sidewalk, walking really slowly. He looked very sick and was grunting a lot. My parents told me to be quiet and go down to the basement. After we've been down there for a few hours, we decided to come back up. That's when the gunshots started. My parents took me back down to the basement. August 17th. We're still in the basement, and we're still listening to the news on the radio. They're saying the infection spread to other parts of the island. The government is doing their best to make the medicine to fix everyone. They also said no one can leave the island. August 20th. We're still in the basement. My parents thought I was asleep, so they started talking. I heard them say that they had no hope anymore and are thinking of killing me and themselves. I don't want to die. August 21st. I'm sorry if this is hard to read. I'm writing this fast because I don't have much time. Whatever is in my home is out of control. All the soldiers are gone and left us here. My name is Arthur, and I live on a small island in the middle of the Pacific Ocean in a town called Penny Rock. Everyone here is infected. My parents wanted to kill me and themselves, and last night they tried to put a knife to my throat and they thought I was asleep, but I was just pretending. I grabbed my journal and ran away. I'm pretty far from the house now, but I think I'm safe. I stopped to rest behind someone's house near the shore. I can hear the radio through their kitchen window. The announcer is saying that it's time for the decontamination. They're talking about cleaning up when it's done. I guess fixing everyone is going to be messy. Maybe after the town is cleaned up, we can all go home. 
I can't wait for the decontamination. I can see the airplanes coming now. Lots of them. With big tanks full of medicine. I'm so happy. I can't stop smiling. I'm not sure what to make of the journal. I've never heard of Penny Rock, and neither has anyone else I've talked to. It's probably just a story. It has to be. If Penny Rock was real, we'd have heard of it. Right? Chilling Tales for Dark Nights.